In this video, we'll be covering viewing documents. This includes the documents pane, metadata tab, quality tab, history tab, and the multiple document options. Documents can be previewed before opening them. This allows users to view the first page and confirm if it's the document they are looking for. You can open a document by either simply clicking on the line of information, or if you would like to open a new tab, you can click the document pop-out button. Your document is displayed on the left-hand side of the screen. The toolbar above your content allows you to zoom in and out, pan, rotate and alter the displayed layout. You will see there are a number of tabs to the right in the document information panel. Depending on your system and role, some of these may not be present. There are three I want to discuss with you today. First tab is metadata. Metadata is displayed to the right of your document. It contains everything from user added metadata such as study, TMF location and document date to automatically assign metadata such as the transmitter, the person who uploaded the document and the date it was uploaded. The quality tab shows any queries that have been raised against the document that are either in progress or completed. Queries are most often raised during the QC process, however can be raised as needed directly from here. The history tab is a condensed version of the audit trail. The system has a complete audit trail, however these are often tens or hundreds of thousands lines long. The document timeline takes the specific document audit trail and displays it in a single tab covering everything from the document's first upload, through processing, metadata changes, to finally being made final. This is extremely helpful if you want to review the document and see who has interacted with it in a way that has made any significant changes. Additional options can be found by the three dots. You can copy the document's URL to share with others, select other documents to compare this one against, download a copy of either the PDF or native file such as Word, Excel, email, etc. Subscribing to the document will update you to any changes, this ranges from change of metadata, processing status or expiries. And finally, the back button to the left of the screen can take you to the previous page with all filters and search criteria predefined. We hope you found this video helpful. Keep an eye out for additional quick tip videos covering other topics. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your system administrator or your customer success manager. Until next time, thank you and take care.